Good morning, YouTube. I am in Knoxville, Tennessee, waiting on, uh, actually my delivery is until 3 p.m. and it is, I think it's like 9 a.m. right now. So I got to burn some time so until my delivery. Got a few hours. So we're gonna go over my TV mount because uh, I wasn't very descriptive of that during my truck tour video. So it, I'll, I'll put a list of all the parts and everything down in the uh, description as well as a link to my TV and the TV mount. Um, oh, and I got a CB too, finally. Get you a CB. Who would have thought? Uh, it has actually helped out a lot and it was only 50 bucks. I have no idea what I'm talking about when it comes to CBs. So I just got on Amazon and looked at reviews and stuff. This little baby United had over four and a half stars with 5,000 reviews. So I thought that was a pretty good indication that it works pretty good and it has, I've had it for a week and it works out great. Uh, traffic jams, you can call ahead, find out what's going on. Most of the time other truckers are already be talking to let you know what's going on. It's worked out really great. And some shippers and receivers use it too. I haven't, I haven't had the chance to use it as, a, as at a shipper or receiver. I actually got this one at a pilot truck stop for I think it was either 48 or 58 bucks I can't remember I'll put a I'll put an Amazon link down there for it so you can at least read the reviews and see what it is it looks like and everything I'll, I'll show you how I mounted it and all So I purchased all this stuff at Lowe's, by the way. Uh, you're looking at spending 20 bucks. So you need two of these 10 inch long, uh, they're just straight brackets. This is all in the hardware section um, of Lowe's. Yeah, two of these, and then you need two eight inch corner brackets or L brackets. I think they're actually called corner brackets. Um, and then, let me turn that CB down. Then you need two five sixteenths by one inch bolts. Then you need four five sixteenths by two inch bolts. Then you need six five sixteenths lock nuts. See it right there? That's a lock nut. That guy right there. Uh, now what you want to do, put your two brackets in here first. You're also going to need a pack of 5 16 washers. See that right there? That is just to close the gap in between these two. Um, I believe all these trucks are no drill trucks unless you have approval, so don't be drilling into stuff. Um, so what you wanna do, put your L brackets in here. There, There's actually a bar down here. Um, I really don't know what that bar goes to. Let me get my flashlight. Okay, so that bar actually just, it's a plate to hold the microwave. Um, hmm. So, tuck these two guys behind the bar. And what you wanna, you wanna thread your bolts in there. Not thread them, you just wanna stick your bolts in there loosely. Um, pack this one. Uh, let me put that down. Pack this one right here with washers, the thickness of this. Actually, a little bit less than the thickness of this. Um, the whole point of those washers is just for stability. That's all. Uh, and then take and put your first L bracket on loosely. So you want washers on both sides, by the way, too. Um, See, so I got a washer right there, 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 and there. Same thing over here. You can't really see them. Um, you want to thread these or put these top bolts in. Just loosely tighten them. Same thing with the bottom. 
loosely tighten them. You want these to wiggle. You want these to wiggle around while you're putting your TV mount on. So once you get those in, get your one-inch bolts, stick them through your TV mount. You want washers on the same on both sides of this too. Um, there's actually another hole behind this sticker. You can't see it. Um, and if you want to, you can move it out here. There was enough room on this to put this out here, but I didn't know with as much as these things shake, I didn't know if that would be a good idea. And I've got it here and I use this as like a little coat rack sometimes. So, um, you want to loosely put this in here too. Once you've got these two bolts and these four bolts in, um, make sure it's kind of straight. This one is actually perfectly perpendicular with our little uh, panel right here. And now what you want to do, it basically serves as a clamp onto this thing. Um, tighten your back ones first and just make sure everything stays kind of straight as you're tightening it up. Tighten your back ones first then tighten these two guys right here. Tighten your TV one last. Um, and that's it. You got a TV mount for 20 bucks. And then, you know, it hooks on the TV. The reason I put it right here, as opposed to back here, I think I said this in the, uh, in the truck tour video, is because I wanted to be able to sit in the driver's seat and watch TV, or sit in the bed and watch TV, and just, I think, it, I feel like it would be an awkward angle sitting in the driver's seat looking at the TV back here. So I can sit right here in the driver's seat, have it like that, or I can lay down here in the bed like so and watch TV. Um, and I feel like if I put it right there, that'd just be a weird angle for my head, you know? So yeah, I got it right there. Moves around very easily. When I'm driving down the road, um, I actually have it like this. When I'm driving down the road, it's uh, it's sitting right there. Obviously, it's not on, um, but it actually it doesn't move around at all. That's uh, that was a good, good uh, TV mount for twenty twenty five bucks. And this is actually the antenna right now. Um, this is a twenty two inch or no twenty four inch TV, perfect size. I wouldn't go any bigger. Wouldn't go any smaller. Um, 1080p, you know, got all smart TV, got all that stuff. That on antenna it. right there is a cheapo. Uh, it's got a white side and a black side. It's a cheapo from Walmart. I think it was 20 bucks. It works great though, and I've got it fastened up there with double-sided 3M tape, and it has not moved. Um, that's from Walmart. Just go into Walmart, go into their electronic section. It was 20 bucks. They have cheaper ones, they have more expensive ones. That one works great though. So this is the new CB. I know you can't really, there you go. See it now, it's a United, small. Um, there's actually a little, there's a little strap back here that uh, holds it down pretty good. Um, truck comes with an antenna and two power wires. One's positive, one's negative. Get you a test light, learn how to use it. This is a test light, by the way. What you want to want to do, take this little alligator clip, hold it, hold it with one hand on this outer casing of your cigarette lighter, or whatever you want to call it, and then take this sharp tip up under here and touch it to each wire that is coming through in here. If it doesn't light up, that means that is the negative side of the wire. If it does light up, that is the positive side of the wire. Uh, so that's how you check your wires back there. CB will come with wire in instructions. If you don't know how to wire it, don't do it and get somebody else to do it. That way you don't burn up anything. Uh, so for the mic, the mic holder, again, this is a no drill truck. So that's double-sided tape holding that on. The trick is tape this up there and just hold it down. Put pressure on 
put pressure on both sides for like a minute um, and then you'll be good to go and do it when it's where it's kind of fairly warm in here you know like at least 60 70 degrees um, it's held on great for a week though let's test out the mic hey I just got this CB can anybody hear me Thank you, sir. It's got this little squelch knob on it. You hear the static right now? So you turn it till the static goes away. And then you can still hear pe people perfectly. It's great. There you have it. That's my TV mount and my CB. If y'all got any questions, answer them. No need in wiring up that CB and burning up anything in your truck or the CB. The TV, I'll put a, a link to the TV mount, the TV, and the CB down in the description and a list of stuff you need to get from Lowe's or Home Depot. Again, that's, I mean, can't beat that for 20, 20, 30 bucks. And all you're gonna need is a half inch socket, half inch uh, wrench, Just ratchet it together. Simple, I think it took me all of five minutes to put that thing in here. And if I happen to be at a terminal when you're at a terminal, I will absolutely help you put it in. Um, same thing with the CV, CB. In the meantime, um, ask questions on here and I can, I'll can i lead you as best as I can. It's freezing in here. My freaking APU, EPU, uh, worked great last night. I went in and took a shower this morning and now it decided it just doesn't want to put out heat. So I called maintenance, they, they put a note on next time I'm in a terminal. Uh, Jesus, next time I'm in a terminal, they're gonna rebuild it for me. It's, so I was in Georgia yesterday, it was 58 degrees and I was testing the air conditioner and the heater. Everything worked fine. I mean, that the sucker was pumping out some heat. Last night it was too. And now today, nothing. Same thing in when I was in Iowa the other day, picking up those tractors. It, it worked when I went to bed and then I woke up and it was like, 30 something degrees in the cab. I was like, hell no. So I cranked up the truck and got some heat in here. I ain't, I ain't freezing while I'm sleeping. So, anyway, y'all have a good day. Um, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'm uh, my next video is going to be about uh, trip planning. Because there's a lot of y'all out here going into violation for some reason. I don't, I don't, I don't get it. So, I'm going to. Hopefully it'll help help some people out, especially the, the new new people, because um, that first week or two on the road by yourself is a little hectic. Uh, and now I've I've gotten into the groove of things, um, so I'm gonna try on my next load, which I'm recapping right now. So it, I might have to wait a week to do it, uh, but I'm gonna try on my next load to get everything loading, unloading my trip plan to the whole thing. I would like to do it on a long run, like over a thousand miles, because that'll be multiple days of planning. Um, if not, I'll just, I'll do a few loads. Um, yeah, so y'all enjoy your day. See you later. Y'all like this video, you know, hit that like button. If you didn't like it, hit the dislike button. I don't care, YouTube treats it the same way. If you do like it though, or whatever, go check out some other other videos. I like to think that I can be kind of an in, informative person. I might just suck all the way around. Either way, I don't care. Oh yeah, so the TV, I use my hotspot with it whenever I'm not using the antenna or the Xbox. Uh, and right now for the month, I'm at 44 gigs, but that includes the TV, uploading videos from YouTube, uh, any laptop use whatsoever, uh, so I think it's pretty, I've got a, uh, I'm, I'm with T-Mobile right now, uh, and I've got a 15 gig hotspot. So they throttle you after 15 gigabytes, but it hasn't really slowed me down. I don't know, which I'm about to be switching to Verizon, so we'll see how that goes.